In this video, we're going to look at maps and scales. Maps are used for many different reasons, whether you're trying to find out how to get to a friend's house, whether you're on your Duke of Edinburgh award, whether you're trying to find out which underground tube to take, and so on. Now, most maps have a scale, and whether it might be down here in the corner, it might be written in words beneath it, but there'll be a scale, uh, scale near the map. So let's have a look at this scale. So we know from here to here is five miles, and from here to here is 10 kilometers. So let's have a look and see how we would use this scale to work out the distance from Watford to Romford. So, first thing is measure and see how big this is. Now, if this is in the maths exam, you'd measure this very accurately using um, a ruler. Um, if it was a map that was maybe on display in a, sort of in an underground tube station, you might just want to use your fingers and sort of use sort of a, a rough sort of a guideline of how big it is. So here I've measured it, and I've seen that two centimeters is equal to five miles. So I know that two centimeters is equal to five miles. That means that two centimeters on this map, so from here to here, would be five miles in real life. So the next thing I would then do is measure the distance from Watford to Romford. And as you can see here, it's 10 centimeters. So I know that two centimeters was equal to five miles. I need to see now how far this would be in real life. So 10 centimeters, well, that would be five lots of two centimeters. So it's gonna be five lots of five miles. So it's going to be 25 miles. So that would be there to there is five miles. To there is another five miles, that's 10. To there is another five, that's 15. To there is another five miles, so that's 20. And to there's another five miles, which is 25 miles. Um, just a disclaimer, I have resized this map so and resized the ruler, so that might not really be 25 miles in real life. Um, I'm just sort of demonstrating. Okay, next, let's have a look at a typical exam question. So here we've got an exam question. It says, a map has a scale of one dot dot 5,000. That means that one on the map is equal to 5,000 in real life. So this one's quite good because it doesn't actually specify a unit. So it means that if you're measuring in centimeters, it means that one centimeter on the map is 5,000 centimeters in real life. If you measure in inches, it means that one inch on the map is equal to 5,000 inches in real life. So it's quite useful. So it says here, um, on the map, the length of a sports field is three centimeters. So let's convert that into real life, into the real size. So it says, what is the actual length of the sports field? So because of one centimeter in the, uh, one centimeter on the map is 5,000 in real life, we need to times the three centimeters by 5,000. So we're gonna do three times 5,000. And three times 5,000 would be 15,000 centimeters. Now it wants to answer in meters. Remember, one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. That means we want to divide this by 100 to convert it into meters. So we would do 15,000 divided by 100, and that would be 150. So that's 150 meters. So that's a typical exam question where you'd have to deal with a scale. Okay, and if they don't specify the units, then you're just dealing with the units which you measure the map in. So here it would be three centimeters. That means you're timesing that by five thousand to get fifteen thousand centimeters. And then finally, we need to change the meters so we divide by hundred. Let's have a look at another exam question. So this question says uh, the scale of the map is one to ten thousand. It says work out the distance between the castle and the church. Now I've measured this distance earlier and the distance is seven centimeters. So measuring this distance was seven centimeters. In a test paper, you'd measure it very accurately with a ruler. So it says, work out the real distance between the castle and the church. So on the map, it's seven centimeters, but in real life, it's 10,000 times bigger. So I need to do seven times 10,000, and then that's going to be 70,000. And because I measured it in centimeters, that's 70,000 centimeters. Now I want to find the real distance and the answer needs to be in meters. So to go from centimeters to meters, you divide by 100. So we're gonna do 70,000 divided by 100, and then that would be 700. So the answer would be 700 meters. In this question, we've been asked to put a circle around the ratio which represents one centimeter represents two kilometers. And notice that the, the ratios or the scales uh, don't have any units on them. That means we need to get these to be the same units. So let's change our two kilometers into centimeters. So two kilometers, well, first of all, let's change that into meters. Kilo means a thousand, so that's 2,000 meters. Now we want to change this into centimeters. So we remember 2,000 meters 
to go from meters to centimeters, you times by 100, so that adds on two zeros. So it'll be a two followed by five zeros. So that means that two kilometers is 200,000 centimeters. So that means that one dot dot two with one, two, three, four, five zeros. So the answer would be this ratio. That's the scale. Finally, it says the scale of the map is one centimeter represents two kilometers. The distance between two towns is 10.5 centimeters. What is the actual distance? So we multiply by this number. So we're going to do 10.5 multiplied by two, which is equal to 21. Now let's be careful for our units. It says one centimeter represents two kilometers. So that's 21 kilometers.